Message of peace dominated the atmosphere in different parts of the country as the August 9th general election approaches. The men of cloth now urging politicians to be on the forefront of preaching peace before, during and after the elections, noting that peace and unity are the backbone of the country's success. We thank God for the peace that we experience in our country so far and urge our leaders to continue their campaigns in a peaceful way, respect each, each other, not to use abusive words, not to incite people into violence. We let's live as brothers and sisters. Tunaitaji kuwa na very, very peaceful election. Ambayo itatuachia Kenya kama ilivokuwa kabla na hata baada ya uchaguzi. Ya kwamba viongozi wetu wote wanaotafuta viti, na wanaotaka kuongoza katika nchi yetu ya Kenya katika mirengo mbalimbali jamani tunaomba tuimbe amani naomba viongozi ambao mnasimama kutaka uongozi katika serikali hii ya Kenya tuwaomba amani 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 maana umri tunaokwenda si tutaondoka sasa tukiwa tuna vita watoto wetu nyuma itakuwaje led by Kitui Catholic Bishop Joseph Mongela they urged Kenyans not to shy away from voting as it was their democratic right and it was essential in ensuring that they elect into office leaders of their choice whom they believe carry with them the right vision of transforming this nation but to voters all Kenyans let's get out in big numbers to exercise our right of choosing our good leaders and the ones whom we get, let us also respect the wish of those who have elected. Whoever wins, let him or her be accepted by all to continue serving our country so that we can develop our good Kenya being a place where God has put us and we are all brothers and sisters. In Mombasa, the interfaith leaders led by Bishop Samuel Omunyala and Ustad Swale, they noted that cases of violence are usually witnessed during the electioneering period, but this time the politician can change the script to peace and shun away from hatred among others. Tuweze kufanya mambo haya uchaguzi bila kuwa na wadui wala chuki ya aina yoyote kwa sababu hatimaye baada ya uchaguzi sisi bado ni wa Kenya bado ni wa ndugu unaweza kuona tulivyosimama hapa tumesimama watu kutoka tofauti tofauti na sote tuko na amani hatuna shida in Nyanza region message of unity peace and forgiveness took center stage as the clergy called on politicians to be good example to Kenyans at large during this time and to forgive each other we pray for our nation we pray for our community. They have spoken about peace and they also pray about unity. We have covered here in the prayer also forgiveness. That is key because as you pray for peace, you also pray for forgiveness. Their sentiments were echoed by Sylvia Farah, Mombasa County Peace Ambassador, who called on politicians to desist from using the youth to cause chaos during the elections. Kwa hivyo tunaomba viongozi wetu viongozi wetu amani wacheni chuki wacheni fujo wacheni fitina leo siasa itapita nyinyi nyinyi viongozi mutarudi mwe kitu kimoja sisi huku chini tushapigana tushaumizana na pia nasisitiza vijana wetu msitumiwe na viongozi Wakati unapovunjika guu kiwa pale makadara, kiongozi haji kukuangalia. 